Hey guys, um, to, hold on, let me try that again. Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be kind of like a question that I get a lot, um, which is whether or not reptiles or rodents make better pets. And um, really quickly, you guys can probably notice that I am outside um, because there's too many people inside right now and it's just too loud inside. And I know out here you can probably hear birds and the lawnmower that's running five houses down the street. I hope you guys don't mind. Today I have like a few points that I'm just going to share with you guys to hopefully help you kind of determine your pick as to whether reptiles or rodents will be better for you. And even though I will be giving you some differences between the two, definitely, definitely, definitely um, should still be doing other research so that you guys can know about the full amount of everything that it takes to actually own one of these animals. Really, really quick disclaimer, um, these facts that I'm going to be giving you guys, or like opinions I guess, are not 100% accurate for every single rodent and every single reptile. It's just a really, really good general gist of the two. Okay, so the first, um, I guess, factor is that rodents are typically shorter lived than reptiles. And for example, like hamsters usually live like a year and a half to two years, whereas a breed of dragon can live five to seven and sometimes even greater amount of years. So typically reptiles are a greater commitment. So that's something that you may want to think about. So rodents are usually cheaper to maintain. And I know there's probably some people that are like, oh, you're lying or whatever, but in my experience, I have, um, what do I, I have two mice and a hamster, and I used to have guinea pig. Usually you just have to pay for them to get like um, food and bedding. That's really pretty much it. But reptiles, most of them do require like additional heat and UV sources, such as like heat bulbs and UVBs. Um, so those are gonna like tack on to the electricity bill and raise that and that's like a expense that's gonna be 24 7 actually no not 24 7 it's gonna be like at least usually 12 hours a day so typically reptiles are a little bit more expensive to maintain in the end at least so rep rodents yeah they usually have a stronger odor than reptile and i know um, bearded dragons can have like a strong odor when like you forget to clean your cage or whatever but rodents do tend to have um, more pungent smells to them than reptiles okay so the next factor is that rodents are typically more maintenance so like spot cleaning every single day um, changing their water bottles and their food daily which are some things that you're gonna have to do with your reptile but Generally, you don't have to spot clean bedding for a reptile and just in my experience again like um, All these other factors that I'm bringing up. These are just what I think and what I what I have experienced All right, so another factor is that rodents typically I'm saying typically too much rodents tend to not need um, to eat any source of live bug which is actually a pro for some people because a lot of people are squeamish and don't like bugs Etc. Usually, like nine times out of ten, rodents, I mean reptiles, are going to need some type of live protein or a bug that they are going to be able to eat as a staple in their diet. So, if you're not good with bugs or you're scared of bugs, then usually rodents are a better option for you. Okay, so this next one isn't really technically super like, like it doesn't have too much fact behind it, but um. Generally, reptiles are more hardy than rodents. And I say this because like a reptile, like a breed of dragon, can take a fall better than a hamster. And I know hamsters are still pretty agile and can recover quick from a fall, but they're just like little delicate, fluffy creatures. And it's like, I feel like it's easier for them to be more neglected and, you know, mistreated rather than a reptile that can be not fed or whatever and they'll still be there months later which I'm not saying like neglect your 
um, pets or anything, but I just feel like reptiles or more are more hardy. I cannot speak. <laughs> okay guys, so I literally finished filming the video and I go to look at my camera and it says card full. To start back from here, the next factor is that rodents are generally cheaper to buy for just the animal itself. So even though I'm not like saying or recommending to go buy from your local pet store or any other well-known stores, typically like you can look online, pet finder, um, shelters, adopt them. But if you like look for the actual price of the animal, typically rodents are more cheaper to buy than reptiles because reptiles have a lot of different morphs and pattern color types and just other things. Like I've seen certain reptiles go up to tens of thousands in dollars, whereas I only see I only see like a few a couple dollar rodents. And I'm not saying like they're not out there, but I'm just saying typically generally you're gonna find that rodents are cheaper to buy for like just the animal itself. Alright, so the next thing um, is that rodents are more cuddly. So if you're looking for a pet that is like cuddly and you want like a cute pet, um, go with a rodent because typically reptiles tend to be more on like the cool end of the spectrum. Um, like if you want like a cuddly pet, don't get a rodent. I mean a rep don't get a reptile because reptiles have scales, some of them have spikes and you just probably don't want to cuddle with that. But if you want like a cute cuddly pet, go with the more rodent side of the spectrum. Guys, I literally don't know what keeps happening, but my camera just stopped, so. I think I was on the last point anyway, but the last point is that, um, like I was saying, it's kind of controversial because um, there's not too much research on it, but I did find that when I was like looking it up. Yeah, guys, it literally just happened again. I have no idea what's wrong with this my card is not full but um, I'm just gonna end the video here apparently reptiles can give you salmonella easier than rodents I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again make sure you do your research on any animal that you decide to get whether that be a reptile or rodent if I did help you make up your mind um, because every animal should be granted a good home but um, yeah guys I don't want to talk too much in this intro so that's all I have to say for now um, thanks for watching